All right, I am recording. We're looking at order of operations. We're talking about PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally is another way to remember it. You're going to do first all the parentheses, then all the exponents. Multiplication and division, you do an order from left to right. So if division comes before multiplication left to right, you do it first. Addition and subtraction, left to right. Okay. So first I did my parentheses, then multiplication, then subtraction, I got 271. Number two, I've got 16. Number three should be two. Okay, I'm going to do all the answers and then we'll go over how we got them. Shh. Number four is 12. Number five is 21. Number six is 65. And number seven is 81. Raise your hand if you would like me to go over one of them. Chris. Okay. Cameron. Shh. Which one? Sure. Okay. You got 80 for that? Well, maybe mine is wrong. Let's go over it. Okay. So first I need you to stop talking. First, for number four, I got 12. What? Somebody in the back asked me. Okay. Shh. I can't take this anymore. Oh, that's me. Sit down. Sit down. Okay, so first, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to do what's in the parentheses. 11 minus 3 is? 8. Okay, so we've got 8. Oh, already I did something wrong. My answer is not right. So it's 8 squared plus. Shh. This is where no one cares what you're thinking right now. So be quiet. In parentheses, I've got 14 plus 2. Okay, because I had to do 12 divided by 6 first. Then 14 plus 2 is 16. 8 times 8 is 64. 64 plus 16. Doing this without a calculator, okay? 10, 6, 7, 8. It should be 80. <coughs> Any others? Number 5 and number 7. Okay, I'm going to do 7 first, then I'm going to do 5. Shh. Oh, wait. 11 plus 2 is 13 times ten, 14 minus 4 is 10. And then I've done my parentheses. My exponent is 7 times 7 is 49. 13 times 10 is 130. Minus 49 gives me 81. Okay. All right, number 5. Okay. We've got 14 plus 40 is 54. 54 minus 6 is 48. Okay. Okay. Divided by 4 plus 3 times 3 is 9. Okay, so I did parentheses, got 48, did my exponent, got 9. 48 divided by 4 is 12. 12 plus 9 is 21. Yes. Quite, any other questions? Okay, we're going to do some of these together. I'm going to pass out the notes right now. And we're going to do these together. Okay, this kind of gives you an idea of... If you need to work on it or not. When you went through it, if you feel like I got everything right, go ahead and work ahead of us. If you feel like you're stuck on certain problems, keep an eye open for those while we go over these notes. I wanted to give you this first. I gave you those seven problems first before going over the notes. Because I feel like some people are like, I already know how to do this and don't realize that they don't. Okay? I'll be what I do. Like, I know how to do all this. And, and some of you are like, I don't know how to do any of it. And then when you did it, you're like, oh, I know way more than I thought. Okay. So we're going to skip the top part where this talks about order of operations. Again, we already talked about this. That's there for you guys. We're going to start with 
a couple of easy ones, and then we're going to turn it over and do some harder ones at the back. All right, we've got 6 plus 4. We're going to do number 1. 6 plus 4 minus 2 times 3. Well, I don't see any parentheses or any exponents. So I need to do multiplication and division from left to right. So I'm going to do negative 2 times 3 first. That gives me 6 plus 4. What comes next? I just moved the 6 and the 4 down. Minus 6. Minus 6. So 6 plus 4 is 10. 10 minus 6 is 4. Yep. Yep. Okay. So, stop. Okay, so what I did is I went through, I'm reteaching for somebody who needs it. I went through and saw that there was no parentheses, correct? There's no exponents, correct? So, I looked left to right and I was like, okay, is there any multiplication or division? This is addition. That subtraction, oh, 2 times 3 is 6. Then, then I've gotten all my, mul and then I just brought everything else down. Okay? This came right here. Then I said, okay, 6 plus 4 is 10. 10 minus 6 is 4. Okay. All right. Now we're going to look at 3. I've got 15 divided by 3 times 5 minus 4. Remember... Multiplication and division from left to right. Do I have any parentheses? No. Do I have any exponents? No. Those are those little tiny numbers. No exponents. So I'm going to do multiplication and division. I'm going to go 15 divided by 3 is 5. Then I'm going to bring everything else down. Why are we talking? Shh. Okay. And then I'm going to see that I've got another multiplication to do. 5 times 5 is? Okay, 25 minus 4 gives me? Okay. All right. Let's skip number 5 and go to 7. So I did 5 divided by 3 gives me 5, and then I brought everything else down. And then I said 5 times 5 is 25, and then I brought negative 4 down. And then 25 minus 4 gives me 21. Okay, number 7. Is there any parentheses? Number 7. 17 plus 8, which is what? 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay, so minus 25. What's 50 minus 25? 25. So far, so good? This stuff right here that I'm showing you, this you'll actually use a lot. Okay, any kind of math class you'll have to take, and most of you will have to take another math class someday in your life, in college, for trade school, for something, you're going to have to know all of this. This is really applicable to what you need. Let's turn it over. Let's do, look at something a little harder. Let's go all the way down to 15. Abby, can you see? I'm on 15. Is everybody with me? Shh. Okay. So the first thing I need to look at is parentheses. But inside my parentheses, what do I have? An exponent. So let's do that first. 10 times 3. What's 6 times 6? 36. Am I going too fast? You can tell me. Plus 8 divided by 2. Okay. How is that? Are we okay? All right. So all I did was this part right here, 6 times 6. So that's what the little square means. So I had some people ask me about exponents while they were doing it. When it says squared, it means like you multiply 6 times 6. If it said 6 to the fourth power, you'd go 6 times 6 times 6 times 6. Okay? Said it four times. All right. What's now? We got to do the inside of the parentheses. Finish it up. What's three minus thirty-six? Thirty-three. 
Negative 33, right? Very nice. Okay, now I've done all the parentheses, correct? I left negative 33 in parentheses just so I was reminded that those two things are timesing by each other, 10 times negative 33. What is 10 times negative 33? Yep, yeah, negative 330 plus, what's 8 divided by 2? 4. Good. So what's negative 330 plus 4? 326. Yep. Negative. Yes. Okay. Should we do 17 right below it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll, how about we do 17 and then we do 21? Okay, we'll see how much time we got left. 17, I got to do the innermost parentheses, right? Okay, so I'm going to rewrite everything until I get to those innermost parentheses. What's 8? What's 8 divided by 2? If you have not had your picture taken, please report to the West Gym. At this time, if you have not had your picture taken, please report to the West Gym. Okay. So I did, I just did 8 divided by 2. Got 4. Now, what is 16 divided by 4? 4. 4. Good so far? Yeah. Am I going too fast or is this the right pace? No, that's good. Okay. What's 32 divided by 4? 8. 8. I know I took away your calculators. Okay. Some of you didn't put them away, but that works too. Okay. I'm going to move up so that we can look at 21. Because why don't you like 21? Because it's got numbers on the bottom. Okay. All you have to think about when you see that line under there is that means divide. It means you've got to finish the top and finish the bottom, and that's going to be the last thing you do. It's like you've got parentheses around them. Okay? It's like this. It's like there's parentheses here. You've got to do the top first, then the bottom. Okay? So I'm going to look at the very top. I'm going to kind of put my answer out on the side, guys, because I need a lot of room for this. So I've got my five still there. I've got my bracket. It's just a different kind of parenthesis, so you can tell the difference. I'm going to put 30 minus, what's 8 minus 1? So I'm going to put 7, but I'm going to put the little squared symbol still there. End my bracket over 11 minus 2 squared. I'm going to put parentheses around this so I remember that I'm going to finish them first. Okay, that's the first thing I often do when I see something like this, is I put those parentheses on them. Do you guys see the only step I did? Okay, now I'm going to do the exponent here. So I'm going to go 5 plus my bracket for 30 minus, what's 7 times 7? Did I lose you, Cameron? Okay, so see this 8 minus 1 right here in the very inner inside? That's the only step I did to get there. Otherwise, I rewrote everything. And now, okay, so I rewrote this thing that I just did here exactly, except I did 8 minus 1 is 7. Otherwise, it's the exact same thing. So the 5 is still there, the 30 is still there, the minus is still there. I just did 8 minus 1. Okay. And then I'm doing 7. My next step is 7 times 7 is 49. All over 11 minus, let's do this down here too. What's 2 times 2? 4. 4. Okay. Remember this is in parentheses. All right. What is, Jamal, you want to answer this question? What's 30 minus 49? 30 minus 49? Negative 2. Negative 2? Okay. So we have... So if you had 50 minus 30 is 20, right? Take away one more, we get 19. Yep, so we should have negative 19. 
over 11 minus 4. Okay? Now I'm going to do the top and then the bottom. 5 plus negative 19. Negative 14. And 11 minus 4. And then what's negative 14 divided by 7? Negative 2. That's my final answer. Okay. I'm going to give you guys your homework so you can start on it. Does that sound like a plan? What is this? This is just classwork. This is just notes. These are examples of it. Okay. So, that's not perfect. All right. Right here, I'm giving you, it is 26 problems, okay? Oh, but none of them are even as long as the ones I just gave you. If you see it in X, it means fine. Wait, this doesn't mean anything. No, I literally had two left. I had two left of the whole thing. I agree. That's what I'm saying. Again, one more time. I just want to make sure it's on here in the recording. So if you get stuck, right here, when you see an X, that's not an X, that's a time sign. Time sign.